Good morning. Happy June 1st. New month, new goals, new challenges, <laughs> new habits. Who's with me? Who's joining me live today? Oh, I need to share this. Say good morning if you're jumping on. Say hi. Let me know that you're here. Let me know you're joining me for um, another series. So we finished four weeks of May Hem. <laughs> we finished our May four week series and now we're jumping into our summer series of workouts. And I don't really know. I, I'm, I'm thinking June, July for um, the summer series, but we'll, we'll see how it goes. I mean, we're not going to quit in August, obviously. <laughs> Um, what am I doing here? Okay, that's what we're gonna try today. All right. Hey, Yvonne, Yvonne from Netherlands. Say hi if you're joining me. Let me know if you're ready to manage the damage, manage the summer damage. It is beautiful out. This kind of weather makes me want to abandon ship on, <laughs> on everything, right? Like I just wanna like, I really wanna just go on holidays. Okay. So let's get started, because we're not on holidays. Oh shoot, hang on, hang on, hang on. I set my timer on. We're not on holidays. I'm not on holidays. But we still want to feel, we still want to feel that leisure, like freedom feeling of summer. I don't know, you know what I'm talking about? Like summer hits, the, the warm weather hits, and we feel like, we, we just want to loosen up life, you know? You, we want to stay up later, we want to like relax, we want to go to the barbecues, we want to go to the pool parties. I mean, we're still in lockdown here in Ontario, but I think things are gonna change really soon and, and we just want to live, you know what I'm saying? And what can happen in June and July and summer is we, we live a little too much and we abandon all of our great habits that we built. They sort of get forgotten about as we loosen up our kind of regime, for lack of a better word. And all of a sudden we find ourselves <laughs> like at the end of the summer, you know, and not in the best of shape and kind of going, what happened? And so my thing is, especially those of you who've been joining me for a number of weeks now, like, Ladies, we've worked hard to get to where we're at right now. I am not, I am not where I want to be yet. Like I haven't gotten to, there is no finish line, right? I haven't gotten to the finish line. There is no finish line. And so I don't want to pull the plug on the progress that I've made so far. I want to keep going. So who's with me to manage the damage? The goal being we're going to continue to chip away at progress and at our goals, but we're gonna enjoy summer. So we're going to, I'm gonna let you know throughout the workout some of my strategies for me that I'm gonna be sharing so I can help you manage the damage. And uh, if you're new, if you're joining me for the first time, remember I always like to say, go at your own pace, go at your own effort level. Um, this first round of warm up is low to no impact. If you need to do all the um all the whole workout at low no impact please do you need to do what's right for you you need to start from where you're starting at and work your way up i love the idea of chipping away at your goal small efforts daily i read this morning if you can't if you can't okay i'm gonna mess this up it's a it's a napoleon hill quote if you can't do great things do small things in a great way Right? And that's, that is what we do here. We do small things in a great way and we achieve our results by chipping, just chipping away. So the summer is going to be no different. We're going to continue to chip away, but we're going to enjoy life because dang it, we deserve to enjoy life a little bit right now more than ever. I think that if there's been any lesson in the last couple of years or year, feels like a couple of years. <laughs> If there's been any lesson, it's like, know, what, know what's important in your life. Know what you value and, and balance, um, you know, balance your responsibilities with it, right? So back to if you're new, if this is your first time working out with us, 
go at your own pace, modify anything you need to modify. I will offer modifications all the way through. If you are really new and really just beginning and you haven't moved your body in quite a long time, keep it at low impact. I'm gonna increase intensity right now. I'm gonna go up to our moderate effort level. But you can keep it at low intensity. You can also stop after the warm-up because the warm-up is gonna be about 10 minutes. So if you're just beginning to get movement back into your life, to get exercise back into your life, aim for 10 minutes to start. The goal is to do it and wanna come back the next day and do it again. The goal is to crush yourself so that you don't wanna return, okay? So do what you need to go slow and long versus fast and short, <laughs> meaning Take small steps so that you can stay the course long term. So if you need to continue at low impact instead of increasing intensity like I did, you know you have that option to continue doing this. I wanted to shout out Corinne, who is new. She just started in May, I believe. Right, Corinne? Started working out with me in May. She's, I want to say 69. She was very apprehensive about starting, worried she couldn't keep up. I don't think she's missed a workout yet. So you guys, if you're new and you're feeling <laughs> apprehensive, if Corinne can do it, you can do it too, right? Right, Corinne? Um, I have Pauline who hasn't been on in a while, but she was here for a number of weeks from her wheelchair. You guys, so you can do what you can do and you don't need to do more, <laughs> okay? Just do what you can do, but show up and join us and chip away at your goal. On that note, uh, what is your goal? So my coaching group, we meet once a week and I always have them write out their goal so that at least once a week, they are taking a look and intentionally writing out what their goal is so that it's front and center. I think one of the biggest things that holds me back and probably a number of you is, is letting your goals either completely disappear from your mind, right? Like not even giving them a thought or stifling them and burying them so deep underneath you know, doubts, fears, resistance, um, denial, all the things, right? So I think the first thing is you want to know what is your goal. Write your goal in the comments if you want. Or write it down on a piece of paper for yourself. Okay, high impact looks like this. Again, you can keep it at low or medium. And if you're feeling good today, you can go harder than me. I'm feeling relatively good. It's a warm one again though. <laughs> so what is your goal? You don't need to have that goal next week. <laughs> your goal doesn't have to, right? You just wanna know where you're headed. I always love the analogy of a map, like you're on a road trip. You're on a road trip right now. Summer might be, the part of the road trip that is the back roads, where you're gonna slow down a little bit, you're gonna make a little bit um, slower progress to your destination, but you're not gonna stop moving, right? That's the theme. I know that probably sounds really lame if you're like wanting a trainer who's gonna like push you and, you know, tell you like, but it's a season. And I know for me right now, I, I just kind of share where I'm at with you guys. I have this like, I can feel the pull of, the, of those country roads, of the slowing down, of the taking the roof, you know. If we're, if we're on a road trip, I can feel myself turning off the highway and heading through the backcountry, scenic roads where 
you know, we're slowing down. We've got the top down. We're stopping at lookouts, <laughs> right? That's, that's what summer progress is feeling like for me right now. What we don't want to do is pull off the road and stop, right? Like, I want to keep going. I'm not willing to, and I want to preface, like, I want to kind of clarify to you guys, that's sacrifice, a little bit of sacrifice, because my inclination was to, you know, pull the plug on these workouts, because these workouts are a commitment for me to be available 9.15 to 10, Tuesday to Thursday, and I wasn't sure, like, in the summer if I'd be camping, if I'd be away, but so what? Why can't I still, you know, make that commitment to myself and therefore also to you, to, the, to our community? And I said, no. So that is my way of saying, nope, not fully pl unplugging from where we're going, you guys. So I, I invite you to join me. Hope you'll don't stay with me and continue with me because it won't be very fun to do it alone, but there might be days where I'm doing it from a campsite. I don't think anybody will mind that. Okay, so grab a drink, grab. I do know we need some weights today. It's Tuesday. It's Tired Tuesday. Now we're gonna call it Tush Tuesday today because we're working on butt and legs today and my hair is being really annoying right now, but okay. So grab a weight. I'm gonna grab a couple of different ones. Um, who's with me today? Who's got, who's, I know, Corinne, yeah, of course, Dawn. Dawn is here every single time. I know, it's so funny, Dawn, like after, she says like after lockdown, people are gonna go crazy. I feel like during lockdown, we've been going crazy in terms of eating, drinking, you know, just being off our routines. And then lockdown's gonna end and it's gonna be, you know, next level, so. I know that you ladies who've been joining me for a number of weeks now, you're not willing to go backwards. You've put in too much time and progress. So we're going to keep going and we're going to manage the summer damage. We're going to manage it because there will be some. And I think it's important to acknowledge that and, and be aware of that, that it's okay. Um, but if we are aware of it, we are you know, admitting it or whatever, I can't talk today, acknowledging it, we can get ahead of it and we can mitigate it so that it's not like complete abandonment of ourselves. <laughs> okay, so the first one we're gonna do is we're gonna be doing, um, you can grab a weight. If you're brand new, you, you can maybe not use a weight. You're gonna squat and then lift. Squat, lift. We're gonna do one side. I'm, I'm gonna start light because I can feel like, all right, ready? So squatting, lifting, kicking, squatting, kicking. So you're lifting with that outer thigh. Um, make sure your belly button is pulled in. Make sure your shoulder blades are retracted. So think about squeezing that pencil in your lower back or in your shoulder blades down the spine of your back. Slow and control. Okay, so we want slow and controlled. We're not just throwing our legs around. Now we're gonna do the other side. So we're doing extended Tabata today, meaning we're doing 30. One side always feels uh, less limber than the other. Uh, whew, 30 seconds instead of 20 seconds. Usually we do 20 seconds for Tabata. Yeah, these are gonna, we're gonna feel these tomorrow. <laughs> Uh, it's funny when you do a motion, but I'm a runner. <laughs> I, my, my range of motion is kind of small. Okay, that's two down. So what is manage the damage? So I told you what kind of the theory or the goal is. The goal is to say it's summer. I know there's going to be ice cream. I know there's going to be barbecues. I know there's going to be pool parties at friends. I know there's going to be cocktails. Um, I know there's going to be later nights 
and I'm going to not deprive myself of all of those things, but I'm not going to go off the rails, and I'm going to keep one foot staked into my goal, right? So, you know, I talked about this with my coaching group last night. It's about, first of all, having daily minimum habits, meaning, and your daily minimum habits aren't necessarily to progress you, they're to keep you from completely going off the rails, right? So if you do a 10 minute, I do a 10 minute run minimum every day. So most days I'm doing between five and 15 K, which is not very much. <laughs> I know, but, um, but on the days that I'm not running on my days off, I still do 10 minutes. So it keeps me from completely, if I do get into a slump where, you know, I'm not running or I'm too busy, I know I have to do that 10 minutes. That's a daily, oops, sorry, staying on the same leg. That's a daily habit. No matter what, every single morning, no matter what, I have that glass, 16 ounce glass of water with lemon. That is me making a commitment to, to something that I know does goodness to my body. Is it gonna make up for the other stuff? No, but it keeps uh, my mind plugged into the fact that I care about my habits. Does that make sense? So, again, if you picture the analogy of a road trip, your daily habits are like, you're still continuing to move forward, even if you've slowed down, even if you've stopped a bunch of times, even if you've, you know, even if you're only progressing, you know, 50K a day, where before you were progressing 200K a day. I don't know if I'm making sense, but that's the goal. So that's the first thing you wanna do is decide, what is non-negotiable? So for me, it's my glass of water. And I like to do a nutrition, a physical, and a self-care. So a nutrition-based one is my water, non-negotiable, every day. I have my water. I pretty much eat the same breakfast every day. Probably you all do too. Um, I'm gonna share my breakfast this week because it's so easy. It's so fast. And um, I think it's effective. It's from the Run Fast, Eat Slow cookbook. And I can do it, I can eat it whether, no matter where I'm at. Even if I'm traveling, camping, I can always eat the same breakfast. It's an old version of oatmeal. Um, my physical one is my running. So I do my 10 minutes every day and our daily habit challenge in this group. So I'm doing the following the grand slam, meaning I have to do every, <laughs> and yay us, it's burpees this month. Woo! I almost changed it, because I was like, what was I thinking? Why so early in the year, Jocelyn? I gotta do 10 burpees a day for the rest of the year. Oh, anyway, anyway, it's good. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger, right? So. That's my physical non-negotiable. I have to do my get, my get stronger and slam. And then my self-care is my morning routine of, and I rarely miss a day where I spend five minutes, I listen to, I have a song I listen to, I close my eyes, I listen to the song, and I visualize where I'm going in life, right? I visualize my life, you know, um, designed by me, what does it look like? I'm in my RV, I'm traveling the countryside, I'm listening to the birds as I wake up. It's lovely. I'm usually near a beach too. Anyway, so I do five minutes of that, and then I do five minutes of journaling where I write down gratitude, um, what I'm grateful for. And the whole purpose of that, <clears throat> okay, so we're doing squats again with a kick. Squat with a kick. Okay, so we're going forward this time. A lot of squats today, guys. A lot of squats. Okay, grabbing your weight. <clears throat> the purpose of that is a couple things. First of all, okay, we're going to alternate for this one, actually. I lied. So we're going to squat and then kick. And you're going to notice that I'm lifting and extending 
with control. So I'm not just like doing that. I'm lift, like think about being, doing a <coughs> leg extension at the gym, okay? The per so now we're doing sumo squat pulses. So our feet are gonna go out to the side. We're gonna squat down and pulse for three. Okay, ready? One, two, three. Driving those knees back. I believe no matter what goal you're working towards, so whether it is a business goal, whether it's a personal goal, um, whether it's a fitness goal, you're gonna hit a point where it gets hard. <laughs> that is the nature of working towards goals. There's gonna be a point where you're like, I can't do this. <laughs> I, this is not for me, I suck. Nothing's working the way it's supposed to. You're gonna hit that. You know how you offset and get over that hump? Is by pouring into your mind. If you're not pouring into your mind, you will not have the awareness <coughs> to fight those voices. Those voices will always come get you, always. Usually in a moment you're not expecting them. Usually in a moment uh, your guard is down. So if you're doing daily self-care in terms of your mindset, you're ready for those voices and you're ready to say, no, no, <laughs> you're wrong. <laughs> like You are not, you are not truth. You are just my fear. You are just my doubt speaking. And you can pour. And so to me, it's like your armor. It's like your armor at the door, the doorway of your mind. Um, I forget who had the quote, stand guard at the door of your mind, right? So think of, in order to stand guard at the door of your mind, you gotta have a security guard there. Your security guard is there when you are doing daily self-care. The other thing with the meditation, sorry, the visualization, <coughs> is like I said at the beginning, like you need to remind yourself constantly where you're going. Again, let's use the, let's use the <coughs> road trip analogy. You're driving and you, your GPS dies and you toss your map in the back and you, and you, and you don't focus on where you're going, right? Like you think, you're driving along, you're having fun, you know, you're stopping for ice cream, you're stopping to check out the view, <clears throat> and all of a sudden, you're nowhere near where you're going, right? You went over there. <laughs> I always picture Florida. Yeah, you ended up in Utah. So, like, the point of the visualization every day is to remind yourself, where are we going? So that you stay at least headed in that general direction. And then the gratitude is because we, we always have to be grateful for what we currently have if we want to achieve any more. Because quite frankly, I don't deserve <coughs> more of anything if I can't appreciate what I already have. I don't deserve you know, a better marriage if I can't appreciate our relationship now, right? I can't, I don't deserve I mean, that goes for anything. Appreciate what you have now. And sometimes it's hard, because so, and, but that's the thing. When it's hard, you need it. You actually need it the most. When you're like, holy crap, I've been in lockdown since December 26th. <laughs> and, you know, I saw somebody like, I have to go to work, because work is opening up, and I can't get a haircut, and I look like crap. Um, you have to appreciate, you know, what you do have. Because there's always, honestly, there's no matter, I don't, I'm very fortunate I've never lived on the street. But I gotta think, I just always go back to Pitbull's, Pitbull's phrase, if you're above ground, it's a good day. <laughs> Whenever you're above ground, it's a good day, right? Truly, because everything else can get fixed and get better. Um, if you're not above ground, then probably. You're not, you're not worried anymore anyway. <laughs> anyway, get bad joke. Um, whew, I am sweating. Is anybody else like sweating like buckets like I am? Honestly, I can sweat no matter what. <laughs> it's, I call it menopause. But I want you women who are my age, I, and, and I will say, and this might not really reassure you, this might actually make you feel worse. Um, 
If I, get to, if I could have, if I could have a toonie for every woman that messages me saying, like I hit my 40s, I don't know what's going on. I've lost complete control of my body. Nothing's working anymore. If I could have like a dollar for every time someone said that, like I wouldn't have to work. I would be rich. Um, and my point in sharing that is not to depress you, but it's to make you understand that you are in good company and you're not alone. Um, and it's okay. And I remind myself, I, when I hear from women, because I'm in the same boat, you guys. <laughs> Uh, I mean, that might not be very re reassuring either, but I'm in the same boat. I'm going through it with you. Um, but we, we're in it together, I think is important for us to all feel. Okay, we are doing some more squats and some curtsies. So, two up, we're going to do these ones. Completed. Or if those hurt your knees, use steps to the side like that. All right? Ready? I'm going to do a bigger weight this time, my goodness, I'm being such a... So, I don't say that, like, I hope I'm not <laughs> making you lose faith in me when I share that with you, but I want, I think it's important for you to understand that you're not alone. I feel like the diet industry, the weight loss industry, fitness is a very lonely place for a lot of us. And it seems crazy because many of us are going through the same thing. We're going to do the other side. I lied. We're doing curtsies. Okay, so we're going to alternate sides with curtsies. Make sure, again, if this bothers your knee, then just stick to like squats or lunges. Watch that knee, this knee. So you'll notice it stays right over top of my foot. Right, so this leg stays, you guys see that? So you wanna feel it in your butt cheek. So now we're gonna do the other side. This weight is gonna get heavy. Whew. So I share that to let you know, I'm with you, I'm doing this with you, I'm working on it with you. Um, I will say, I am pretty good at figuring myself out, and therefore, if you stick with me, I can help you figure you out too. Because, again, I'm in the trenches with you. I noticed that strength training is helping, consistent workouts is helping. The, I, I gotta say, this was not something I was expecting, but that grand slam that we're doing, guys, I wasn't even gonna do that. I put that out for you crazy people. like. I, <laughs> I put out that challenge thinking, well, I know if I put out something ridiculous, somebody's going to do it, and I'm going to enjoy watching them. <laughs> I had no intention of doing it because I thought it was crazy to commit to, potentially in December, 12 actions daily. Like, I have my 10 minutes a day that I do for my run. I'm good. But... A couple of you who were really excited about it said, Jocelyn, you're doing this with us, right? You yeah, know that wasn't the plan, but <laughs> I, 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 couldn't, I couldn't say no. I, so I said, yeah, yeah, totally, you can totally do this with you. So here I am, and you know, it, inevitably I find this all the time. When we do something that we weren't really wanting to do, um, there's a lesson, <laughs> there's always, you know, it's like, oh, you know what's really come from that is exactly what I wanted, even though I don't want to do it. So what I have found is with the Grand Slam, with doing these daily habits, we're now up to, this is month six. So we're doing six. It takes, guys, still, we're up to the week. I'll let you know Friday, because Friday will be the first day. Oh, curtsies, sorry, curtsies, that I do them all. But... They take very little time to do. Uh, those of you doing it, how long does it take you? Maybe two minutes, two or three minutes? I'm cheating. <laughs> um, so really, like you're gonna, I'm gonna bail on 
you know, a consistent challenge because of two or three minutes of my day. No, I do in the evening usually when I'm watching TV. Um, but I'm finding my body is actually responding to that little tiny bit. And I think that, ah, go figure. It's the consistency, it's the variety, right? Because we have, um, well, this month we'll have six. Last month we had five. Five movements we're doing. So, you know, we have core, push-ups, plank, squats, and jumping jacks. Um, that's a pretty solid mix. It's like, almost like I know what I'm doing. So sometimes I surprise my own self. It's a pretty solid mix of range of motion that, you know, my hips feel better, my back feels better. Um, and I, you know, I'm getting stronger. Like I can, I can feel that from daily, and it doesn't take much, you guys. Like I do 30 seconds of plank. I do 15 seconds of jumping jacks, 10 squats, 10 push-ups, and then 100 core. And then this month we've added, God bless us, we've added 10 burpees. Really, I should have put those in December. That makes me think that December has something worse. <laughs> I'm not sure what's worse. I hate wall sit. I'm, I'm sure I didn't put wall sit in there, but. <laughs> How's everybody doing? How are you guys doing? Anyone feeling their legs and their, their arms? Okay, what is next? Oh boy. Okay, we haven't done these maybe ever. These are called 747s. I'm going to warn you right now, I'm not very good at these. So do as I say, not as I do, because it's, it's going to be laughable. So we're doing 747s. So if you're new and, you're, or, and you haven't done these before, I know, right? Karen Sweatfest, dying here. We're doing, don't do any weight. Although I will say to some degree, this is a little easier with weight. What we're going to do is we're going to, 747, we're going to fly. This is what we're doing, okay? You want to keep this like a pendulum, meaning you don't want to do this. <laughs> so you want to think of a pendulum and if you're using weight, you're going to do this. But again, you want to make sure you're not doing this, <laughs> which mine might look like. I lose balance really easily. Okay. I'm going to do the first set with no weight and I'm going to grab weight for the next set. So let's go. Okay. So right leg first. And the balance is a little bit easier doing it as a 747, meaning, you know, you can see why it's called. You could use dumbbells if you are. The other thing you want to do is you don't want to turn this way. So make sure you're thinking of those hip bones pointing down. Um, you're lifting with this core, sorry, with your core and your glute. I'm not good at these. So listen to how I'm coaching you and maybe do them better than I'm doing them. Okay? And you're gonna find one side is a lot less balanced than the other. Okay? So these, and I can see my leg kicking out. You wanna try to keep straight. Keep all lined up. Okay? If they, so really concentrate as you're as you're rotating, pull that belly button in. The tighter you squeeze your belly button, the more stability you're gonna have. I'm gonna do the next one with no weights. I'm gonna add weights for the last two sets, all right? Okay, let's go, because I'm concentrating on form. So you wanna like tighten everything up. You wanna tighten up, you wanna tighten up your quad. You want that leg straight. You wanna tighten up your core. You want to tighten up your, you know, your back, squeezing those shoulder blades, pulling the belly button in. You're going to feel this on the standing leg in your glutes and probably your hamstrings. It is tush Tuesday, <laughs> meaning we usually, we usually work legs on Tuesday. We've fallen into a nice little routine. Legs, upper, cardio core. Okay, we're very balanced, ladies. <laughs> we hit everything on our three workouts a week. And remember, like, if you want to do extra workouts, 
These workouts are all on YouTube, so you can access them anytime. And I'm loading a lot of my recipe coaching. So that's the other thing I wanted to say. I got totally sidetracked because I'm in babble mode today. Maybe it should be called Talk Tempo Talk Tuesday. <laughs> um, okay, I said I was going to try a weight this time. So different components for manage the damage. So component number one is obviously those of you who meet me to work out, we're going to keep working out together. This, when you have the weight, you'll really see if you're tilting off because you'll, you'll, you'll notice it in the weight. So I can see this now that I'm told you don't do it like me. <laughs> um, my daughter's really good at these. So component number one of manage the damage is continuing to move. So two pieces, two tiers. One is your daily habits. So on your days where you're like, it's the weekend, you're going boating, or you're going, you know, whatever you do when you're like kicking off and doing all the summery things, you're still gonna do your daily minimum, okay? So you fit in your, whether it's a 10 minute walk, no matter what you do, even if you're having cocktails, you can go walk for 10 minutes. <laughs> you, can, you can do 10 minutes. Or you're doing your daily minimum, like whether it's just the 10 burpees or whether it's the grand slam, okay? That's level one. Level two is, yeah, and it still keeps showing up and doing these workouts three times a week. I'm gonna make them happen. So that's my goal. So you pick your goal. Component two is nutrition. So I have those of you, most of you I think are in my other group. My other group is called Pursuing Wellness. And it is about exactly that. It is about pursuing wellness with weight loss as kind of the ultimate goal, but through wellness avenues. And what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to plan with very little <laughs> effort, because I hate cooking and I hate planning, and that is what we don't wanna do in the summer. We don't want the rigidity of the structure and the routine, right? So how can we be prepared without all that work? So that's what I'm gonna be teaching over there. And it's essentially gonna look like this. My, my plan is every Sunday, I'm gonna make, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, I'm gonna be making up three to four salads for the week. Those like big batch salads, not garden salads. Like uh, this week I made a farro salad, which my kids actually like. Um, a bean salad, and today I'm making watermelon salad and chickpea salad. So I have those four things, like almost like having a buffet in your fridge, so that when it's lunchtime, I just go pick from the buffet. And then the other thing, so that's one, and then the other thing is I make up the protein for the week. So my thought is, I'm trying to eat more salmon. I actually heard again yesterday, if you could only eat five things, salmon was the first thing that the guy said. So I buy the big long slab of salmon, cook it up, so now I have five, like five pieces. I have dinners for, you know, five nights till my husband's off and can come home and cook for me. <laughs> um, flank steak is great if you make a great big, so literally on Sunday you could barbecue a flank steak, barbecue a salmon, and cook up a bunch of chicken. Your protein's ready, and you got your salads, and you're set, you're set, right? You can manage the damage all week. Like you don't have to worry about, oh shoot, it's seven o'clock, I don't know what I'm making for dinner. I guess we're ordering takeout again. That's kind of what it's gonna look like. Um, all right, we're going to hydrants. If you have bands, grab your bands. I don't know where mine are. Activity completed. So I'm doing without bands. But if you have bands, grab bands. Okay, we're doing hydrants next. Guys, these should be hard. If they're not, you're not doing them right. Um, and they're gonna they're gonna work your core as well. Okay, this is our last one. Um, and then we have to finish with 10 burpees. Okay, ready? So lifting, keeping, again, those hip bones facing down. Squeezing the shoulder blades. You should be feeling this in your lower core. If you have bands, you're gonna feel this in your outer thigh as well. Really, bands are, are great for this one, but again, if you're new, don't worry about it. And I was supposed to change the timer on this one, so hang on. We're gonna do one more. Actually, we're just gonna do six sets of this. 
I was supposed to change the time. We were supposed to do, that's okay. We roll with it, right, ladies? Um, so if you need help with the nutrition, come on. The idea is that, yeah, I'm gonna be at friends' houses. I'm gonna take a salad. <laughs> I'm gonna be that person that takes a salad. And I'm gonna try to eat the salads, and then I'm gonna have the burgers and the ice cream and stuff. But I'm gonna be giving you tips on how to get ahead of it. And here's the thing, my friend Kathy and I always talk about this. There are days of the month where this beast takes over my body, my mind, my soul, and it, it wants to eat anything but salads, and it wants to eat everything, and it doesn't know what it wants, and it's never satisfied, and it takes up residence in me for about three days a month. Here's the goal. Those three days, like the other day, yeah, I had my salmon and my salads made up. I didn't want them. I wanted takeout. I wanted, I actually resisted that one day. But those are the times when it's okay to indulge because you want it. We don't need to indulge, you know, in the times that we don't really want it, we're just doing it for convenience, right? So it's about 80-20. You know, if, if I'm out with my kids and I feel like an ice cream, I'm gonna have the ice cream. But I'm not just gonna say, like make ice cream part of my daily routine, if that makes sense. Same with beverages at night. You know, there's nights where I'm like, oh, I would really love a glass of wine right now. Those are the nights to have the wine. Not just, oh, it's eight o'clock, it's time for wine. <laughs> so that is the focus of Manage the Damage. And then the third piece is some of you are adding supplements. Those are obviously completely optional. We're doing one more of these per side. And then we're finishing with our push-ups. Let me think. We, we definitely got our squats in today. Push-ups, plank. So we're, I'm going to show you because it takes, we're going to in like two minutes finish off our Get Strong or our Grand Slam. Um, the supplements are really designed to, a couple things, boost your results, you know, like maybe quicken your results, but also to rectify, you know, any inside health that needs to be sort of nourished. So the collagen and the prebiotics are going to help your body respond to any efforts you're doing because it's going to make sure that your inside health is is good to go, right? So whether it's your gut health, your microbiome, your digestive health, your bloating, your ability to even, you know, absorb nutrients, minerals. The tree biotic is amazing for that. The collagen to me is just an overall wellness supplement that helps with, you know, joints, inflammation, recovery, um, hair, skin, like all the millions of things, right? So those are obviously always optional. That's not something that I, Unless you come to me and want advice on your supplements and, and, you know, supplementing what you're eating or not eating. Okay, let's go. Okay, let's do it. 10 burpees, lady. Let's go. Okay, Corinne. Easy. So I'll show you. This is one option. So reaching up, squatting down, stepping back. That's option one. Um, option two is you can go up against the wall and go down, okay? Option three, if you really can't do burpees, you can just do these, okay? And those of you who are doing full ones, let's go. One, two, three, four, sorry Linda, five, six, they're not so bad, seven, Eight, two more, nine, and ten. They're not so bad. Okay, ten push ups. We did squats. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're gonna hold plank, ready, going. I need to do a little plank today. Should have had the mat. 
And then we're going to finish with Pilates 100s for our 100 core today. Squeezing everything. We did our jacks. We did our squats. Almost there. Five more seconds of planking. Okay, and then Pilates 100s. I want to know in the comments if you're with me for Manage the Damage. Are you with me? Two. Okay, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Lift. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Lift. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Lift. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Lift. Five, four, three. One, five, four, three, two. One, keep it here. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Sorry for my wonky counting. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Down. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Two more sets. Last ten. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Woo! Roll it up. Way to go, ladies. Good job. Welcome to Manage the Damage summer wellness series let me know if you need help with nutrition supplements let me know if you're in it for the workouts and i will see you tomorrow well done have a great day enjoy this weather